Hey, I'm back. We're, we got a short little tutorial today. I'm going to show you how I do my little fancy thing. This. Everybody seems to have loved it, so um, I'm going to show you how I do the transition for that. Alright, let me uh, go ahead and drop myself down. This one's going to be a quick one. It's just to show you how to do the, the transition part. So, first, you're going to need all the regular stuff you do use, like for all my tutorials. Unity 2019.4.31F1. VSF SDK, Koyomi 8.0 for the shader, um, Uni VRM, and that's it, I think. That should be everything. All right. Now, once you have all that installed, you just drag and drop it all into the assets. You're going to be familiar with this, doing all of these things. And then we're going to go to, I'm just going to show you how I immediately just do it. And we're going to just take the top. And we're going to add Poyomi, add with the tune shader. And then we're going to do a couple things first. First, come down to rendering, call off. So that way we have an actual back part to the, uh, to the hoodie here. You'll see, because um, as soon as we make it cut out, it's going to disappear right there. So you want to turn that off. And then obviously rendering process, make that cut out. So that way we have everything we need already set up and we're going to come into special effects go ahead and pull down dissolve and we're going to uh do just a few things here one i already have a gradient set but just click on gradient give it a color you know click on this one to add one color click on this one to add your other color give it a gradient uh grab your edge color Actually, no, not edge color. Grab your dissolve color. Turn that completely off in the alpha value. My head's in the way for that one. Turn the alpha value completely off. And then pull dissolve detail strength completely up. You can mess with this, play around with these settings, but this is what I'm going to use. I pull the, um, the edge emission. I just try to get about 0.5 for that. So the edge glows a little bit. Where am I? I disappeared. I need to stop pushing my numpad buttons because those trigger things. And then from there, we're going to do something a little fancy. And we're going to type in this little search bar right here. This. We're going to use that and type in noise. So Unity comes with some noise textures. Actually, I don't know necessarily if it's a Unity or one of the plugins we install, but there's a hell of a lot of noise textures always in here by default. And we're going to pick whichever one you like. For the for my outfit here, I use like this, like a which one is it? Um, might be this one. Let's test that. Dissolve noise, and then to test these, we use this dissolve alpha. Yep, there it is. And that turns the outfit on and off. Now, if you want this to uh, swap between outfits, you're going to need to go back into Vroid and actually put multiple sets of clothing on. So like how I have mine here, my maid outfit is technically always on my, my hoodie. It's just I have it turned off with alphas, like how we do right here. This turns it off, and then I have the, um, the animation set to pull the alpha back on this so it actually turns it off off so go into vroid make sure when you're doing this to have multiple layers of clothes and you can have one turn off with this value and one turn on with this value but this tutorial for now is just showing you how to set this animation and then from here if you want to actually do the animation itself you simply just open up your animations create new for we're going to call it transition just for this tutorial and we're just going to record. Actually, no. So you're actually going to kick, click on the body. And you have to actually edit it on the body itself. Oh, where am I? It always drops you down. Don't worry about that. Should be able to record now. And there we go. So we'll set it as zero state for the first keyframe. And then we'll zoom all the way out until you stop seeing, until you start seeing like one, two, three, four, or like one, two, three, whatever. And these are now seconds, one second, two second, three seconds. 
So I like to put my next one on like around like the one and a half second range, and then we'll turn it on. And that way, when you play this transition back, it looks like this over the course of one and a half seconds. And then we'll pause that. We're, we'll unstop recording it. And what the hell did I call that transition? The transition, we'll click on it at the bottom right here. We can actually pull up this val pull up this little drop down and drag our model into it. And we can actually see what's going on here during the thing. There you go. That's how you do it. Simple as that. Um, more coming, but I figured this was an easy one to get out. So uh, enjoy. Do with this information if what you will. And play with some noise stuff. Do something creative. I have all of my 3D redeems that I have. They pop in with this exact animation. So it's really cool. You can do a lot with it. You don't have to use it for just outfits. But uh, I'm Volt. I'll see you next time. Bye.